Okay, wonderful. Good morning. Hello? Hello? Uh, this is so cute, dude. What the heck? My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the El Community Center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the Forest Lake in the Stone Tower. I may have information concerning your rat, rat problem. Excuse me? Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's what Mary Lewis said. Okay, okay, let's fill this up really quickly because we got some watering to do. Can I craft the, uh, the sprinkler yet? I don't think I can. I don't think I can. But I need to refine quartz. That's a lot of stuff, dude. But a cherry bomb. Now, that should be no problem. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to actually start smelting some coal before we do this. Cause, oh, no, some, some copper. Excuse me, because we're going to need a decent bit of stuff here. Let me get this coal really quickly. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, perfect. Alrighty, and then we're going to go over here and do some water in, because I would like to actually get the sprinkler pretty soon, because it, it's it's a lifesaver. It's a very genuine lifesaver. <laughs> it's just like it's sort of like how getting the um the 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 keep whatever town beautiful ordinance you get in Animal Crossing is. How like literally I don't I could not imagine playing the game without it. Like, I, before I, like, whenever I did it to, to make the golden flowers, I had to have, like, you know, a, a friend come over and help me water all my flowers, very genuinely. So, <laughs> I just, I, I, I just, I don't want to have to keep doing that whenever I have, like, massive, 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 good, massive swaths of farmland. Here we go, we're going to put this in here. Okay, and then we're going to go donate some stuff. Okay, let's see here. We have that done. We have that done. Let's clear the farm a little bit some more. Boom. Boom. Okay, easy. Easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Alrighty. A little bit of a, a, little bit of a headache, dudes. Sometimes whenever I'm talking, I legitimately forget to take a breath. And it's an actual issue that I've had to do with my entire life. <laughs> Uh, another great example of like human beings being so uh huh English <laughs> another great example of human beings being so evolved that they just sometimes just like just just forget how to exist properly as people you know like I, I, I couldn't begin to tell you I couldn't begin to tell you it's as a person who works retail it, it, it's another thing where like I realized that humans have not evolved that much past animals like 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 a Yesterday, we just found, like, two chicken nuggets in front of the register. Like, some kid just left their chicken nuggets in front of the register. And I, I, I just, I couldn't begin to fathom it. It's just, like, not only, like, could the kid, should, like, should the kid have, like, been, like, known, hey, maybe, you know, I probably shouldn't leave these chicken nuggets sitting at the register because that's not very nice for the people who work here and have to, you know, have to fix this. Um, but... But yet, no, no, neither this kid nor the parents knew, hey, I should not do that. I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> God, like, working retail has, like, has, like, convinced me that some people just lack, like, adult decency. Like, it's just, like, the idea of manners in, is just lost on some people. And, and like, I'm not talking uh, about, like, the, like, the non-neurotypical version of, like, you know, like, not being able to process manners properly. It's just like, you know, just not having any manners whatsoever in general. Like, it's it's so hard to fathom to me, dude. Now, some people just don't have any of them. But okay. That that's a gripe for a different day. <laughs> let's go and let's uh let's let's drop some stuff off. And then let's go see the witch, actually. Because that'd be really or the wizard, excuse me. Witch and wizard, both both fun magic loving pals who I respect fully. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Vincent's birthday is coming up. What is Vincent like? What is Vincent like so I can at least make a, a, a half-assed attempt at getting what he enjoys? <laughs> just show up at his doorstep and he's like, Oh, thank you. Thank you, man. What'd you get me? And I'm just like, it's, just, it's an unopened geode. It's literally just an unopened geode. It's a rock. You gotta pay 10 gold to, to actually open it. <laughs> God. Okay, wait, not here. We gotta go up one. Alrighty. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Okay, let's see here. What were you just... No, no, no. Don't gift it to him. Okay, there we go. Process geodes. Boom. Okay. Oh, awesome! That's sick, actually. Okay, but I just realized that we need to, we need to get rid of some of these things. Okay, there we go. Is that one... 
uh, Cole don't mind. Uh, oh, ooh, not bad at all. Not any of these are bad, dude. Heck yeah. Okay, and now we go to the library. I think we get a reward this time around, actually. Okay, let's see. Donate to museum. Okay, let's see here. We want to donate this one. New reward, yes! Okay, cool. And then we want to... Uh, let's start filling up this one next. We want to reward this one. Then we want to do this one. Okay, and nothing else we can actually drop off just yet. Perfect. Okay, let's see here. How do I... Do I go here to get it? Oh, no. I think I need to go here. Collect rewards. Yeah, here we go. Nine cauliflower seeds, dude. That's awesome. Heck yeah. That takes 12 days. We should, we should actually have some time. So I'm going to go plant these cauliflower seeds, actually. Um, maybe after selling this crab? <laughs> okay, okay. Are there any other seeds we can buy for the spring, maybe? Uh, maybe? Hello? Okay. Let's go try. Let's go see. Hi, Lewis. How's it going, bud? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hi there, Abigail. Alright, I'm not in a good mood right now. Okay, here we go. Let's find this one. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Don't worry about it. Let's see. Tulip bulb. Oh, that's so pretty. Kale seeds. Wow. Hard with a size. Let's let's actually do that. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome, gosh. Kale, always awesome. Look at the look at the ladies meeting. Look at them. Isn't that where they usually work out? Oh, I love I love that so much. I love whenever they're like the really cute thing of them like working out together and everything. That's so adorable to me. Also, I know that we're pretty far into this session. Uh and I probably I brought up uh, Uh-huh. <laughs> and I haven't brought it up just yet. But um you may notice the lack of clicks from my keyboard, uh, that would be because I now have Cherry MX red switches instead of, instead of Cherry MX blue switches. And if you guys want me to bring back the clicky keys, uh, please just let me know. I would be happy to. But, um, um, they're, they're like a lot faster and, uh, like, you know, just overall, just like a better typing experience. But, uh, just for the videos, I could plug the old keyboard back in. Uh, I would not be opposed to that. I'll be honest with you. I'll keep it real with you, Chief. I would totally do that for you guys because I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Okay, let's see here. But um, just for like everyday everyday typing purposes, like 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 as a typist keyboard, it's the best thing in the whole world. Uh, ch ch like reds are just they're so smooth to use. But they have like a good bounce back. They're great for playing video games because they're so fast. The only thing I don't like about this keyboard is it has, like, the red gamer backlight. Like, just the red backlight, which is not, like, a deal breaker because I don't usually look at the backlight anyway. But, uh, someday, eventually, soon, I would like to upgrade this to, like, the RGB version. But I just can't justify making that purchase right now. Because, uh, we're going to Anime Week in Atlanta soon, which is another reason why I'm doing this cosplaying stuff. So, um, yeah, probably wouldn't be the most wise thing in the whole world. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see here. Let's see here. We need to go actually make our... Our cloth really quickly. Not our cloth, our stupid, not our, our path, excuse me, God. Just kill me, just end me, please. Oh wait, the witch, we need to put this down and go see the wizard. Okay, there we go, okay, there we go. Boom, 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 I'm gonna have enough? I might not have enough, dudes. I might not have enough. <gasps> I have barely enough, oh my goodness gracious, I'm saved. Okay, let's see here. Now let's go all the way down here to the wizard's house. See, that should be right here. Yeah, the wizard's tower. Okay, perfect. 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 Let's go all the way down here. Hello, can I get through here? I can. Perfect little path. Perfect little path. Alrighty. Okay, I have n like 21 whole energy, but we're fine. We're absolutely okay. Oh, I should fish here, actually. That'd be perfect. Alrighty. Oh, wait, we have another, we have another one of the foraging things. Awesome. So let's see. What's the last foraging thing? I don't actually remember what the f what the plant is. Maybe it's like that. Well, there it is. <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank you, dude. That's perfect. I wonder if today we'll actually be able to do it now that he's giving us this thing, or if we'll have to wait until tomorrow. Hello, hello, Mr. Wizard. God, you look so sick. Oh my goodness gracious. God, I want that hat. I should cosplay the wizard instead, instead of Sebastian. Wait, I'm gonna stretch. Hold on. Oh my goodness gracious, hello. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths. All right, bud, chill. You're not that edgy. <laughs> Mediary between physical and ethereal. Okay. Master of the seven elements. Keeper of the sacred... <laughs> you get the point. Of course, of course. And you will own. 
the one whose arrival I have long foreseen.